Paramount TV is giving you the West Ham vs West Bromwich Albion review. Yes, we are going to Europe next season. It's not confirmed, so don't get your hopes up, but it is so close. Like, we can actually just feel it. You can actually just feel the energy that we always have dreamed of. This is, I think this is the best season we ever had since we moved to the London Stadium. I mean, it hasn't, I will say that the 15 16 season we had um, was better than the season, but I can't just lie and be like, come on, 32 points. Well, I'm, I haven't lost a match since Chelsea. Thames State, um, Stanford Bridge, we haven't lost our home since May 9th. Goals keep piling up, and that's the thing. The thing is, because we didn't have Antonio because of his injury, we had problems with scoring. Like, we had problems scoring Southampton and Brighton. Now we can actually just go up there, win the f- match. Three points. It's easy. We've been Everton. We've been Leicester. We've been in Wolves. We're going to teams like West Brom. That we've been to West Brom two one. I said in my re- review on Burnley that they'll not, not even not even one t- one person showed up in the Burnley match. It was it was just West Ham players going to play against a non no players from Burnley. And today's match, this is where, if you compare Burnley's performance to West Brom, West Brom's performance was more frightening than this. Because Burnley didn't turn up until the 70th minute. West Brom, they turned up from the whole 90th minute. They came up since the beginning of the game. And that's the thing, when you're playing football, no matter what who or who who the opponent is, you shouldn't expect a, a team to give you an easy game. This is West Brom who not um West Brom Again, this is the thing is, if you play against teams like West Brom, you play against teams like teams that are in the relegation battle. And, and that's the thing, the teams are in the relegation battle. Sheffield United, Fulham, Burnley, um, West Brom. Yeah, they would actually give you easy games that we've beaten. Actually, I'm actually surprised about we just actually beaten all the teams that are in the relegation battle. So, uh, we've beaten Fulham, we've beaten Sheffield United, we've beaten West Brom. And yeah. I want to count Brighton as a relegation battle right now. I want to count them as a relegation battle because I think they can stay up. So, it's up to Fulham, West Brom, and. Sorry. And Burnley, Fulham, West Brom, Burnley, and Sheffield United. And I think we can, you know, points can keep coming. Points can keep rising and coming. And, you know, we need this. Um, after the match, there was a statement from the FA saying that apparently the, the Snodgrass incident apparently. He apparently in the state in the in the um FA they said that um they will look at Snodgrass's agreement and his contract from for West Bromwich Albion that um we had him on I think it was the last or two weeks ago Saturday and Friday. Um the thing is is like it's not. I can. I can. I can keep saying this. It's, it's not our fault that um Snodgrass didn't play against us West Ham. We used against. Um, we used Craig Dawson from West Brom. So Sam Allardyce was a former West Ham manager. I don't see the reason why Snodgrass can play against us. I think it was though the, there shouldn't be a contract saying that I if you, you can't play against West Ham after you do your sign from them. You look at um those um situation. 
think there was a situation with Aubameyang when he was at Dortmund. He played in the Champions League for um, Dortmund. And on, on, on the month that he joined Arsenal, Arsenal's in the right play, and Arsenal could not have... I think that was the season where Aubameyang was in the uh, Marshalls in the Europa League final. But he couldn't play in the Europa League match until the season after. So I think... I've, and obviously that's a, a huge problem for this. And I've, I don't think it's going to be one of the situations where we're going to worry that we might de- have to deduct points because it's stupid how... Um, the referee has been as I um, the FA has been focusing on stupid problems than not focusing on um, so yeah like I said I don't think it's, it's not a massive issue like Snow Man has could have I've given some snow glass to Play. He could have told Snodgrass that he can play. If we get the data, the thing is, like I said, the, the FA, they don't focus on they don't focus on big issues. They all they focus on is like the tiniest issues. Like there's so many times where VAR made mistakes in us on our games this season, and. Um, I don't think, I think if we play, I think that if we, I mean, if, if we give, um, Doncaster, Doncaster Rovers a chance to win, so at least, um, so no, I don't know, I'm trying to what I'm saying, um, yeah, so if but why can't ref why can't the ref um that just says the same old things we've seen so many times referees being a piss take it's that oh it's just their opinion but their opinions are affecting the Premier League we've got they're in the best league in the world and 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 they don't do shit they don't actually do anything the VAR people can't do anything today's game the referee I don't care who that guy was he was a piss take he and the, like. The Gallinger's, um, fact, I can give Gallinger's, Gallinger's, um, fact, I can give Gallinger's, um, not sad, that, that, that's not sad because he's, um, if Gallinger wouldn't touch the board. But what annoys me is that we could, that <laughs> see, Jack Penalty, that should have been a penalty. The thing is, the thing is, is that he kicked. So, what happens is that there's a free kick. Um, one of the rest from the Harbin plays heads away. Suchek, Suchek's got the ball. He kicked the ball outside the air, outside the pitch to get a clearance to get some because you know, he knows that the rest from the Harbin plays is, is right behind him. So after he kicks the ball, the rest from the Harbin kicks his leg. Suchek's leg. And and then three seconds later, the referee gives a free kick to West Brom. And what annoys me, the referee doesn't check on VAR. Referees don't give a light. And they, they still get paid from VAR. They still get VAR people that stay still get paid. The referees still get paid. But the FA don't look at that. If a referee makes a mistake in one game, that's going to cost a, a team's point. And that's, that, that nearly cost us a point if that was, if that was a VAR incident. That, should, that could have cost us three points, that referee. So, no, don't give, don't give snob glasses. Um, don't, no, fine, don't, fine, fine, check on snob glasses, um contract and also check on the referees because... The referees don't, uh, since we don't have, because the thing is, since well, it's been two decades where we've seen the last seen a good pe- a referee, best referee in the Premier League, referee in the Premier League of all time, Howard Webb, 
best referee because he's always unbiased. Best referee Mark Lattenberg might have been because they can't do their job. I know, I mean, we can argue about VAR referees every single day, but get to the, they have to look at the screen. At least look at the screen to check. Okay, that's a penalty. The Chelsea match I just seen and the highlights. One has got this is one has got his fine. Clavis, he he dived totally. He dived. But when is pen? When is goals disallowed? But one of their defenders' his hand is more further than Werner's hand. So I'm confused. As why didn't? Why it was Werner's goal offside? Because that should have been onside. His hand. His hand length. This is okay, This is his hand length. This is the rest of the city's defence hand, and this is Werner's hand. See how big the rest of the city's hand's defender is to Werner. It's not even quite, I don't think that's a, I think that should have been a goal. The thing is, they should check on the biased referees. They should check on Lee Mason's, they should check on... So many referees because they can't do their job. Instead of asking a guy from Stockley Park, instead of asking a guy from Stockley Park to check if that's a if that's a hand or a penalty or red card, go to the machine. There's a machine inside the pitch. You should actually check the machine. Don't stop stop getting instructions from a a couch potato guy. Saying, oh, it's a penalty. It's not. He, because he, the ref, the, because not only you've got an amateur referee in the pitch, you got amateur referees, fourth officials, you got amateur linesmen, and you get amateur um, VAR people as referees. Instead of getting um, amateur referees, that does VAR, get people like Paul Dalton, get people like Howard Webb as a referee, Howard as for VAR, get old referees into VAR because we are struggling to understand why VAR is in the Premier League. And lastly, even though we're, um, with or without VAR, referees are still making mistakes, so even get rid of the referees Keep the referees and don't pay them, or just stop and or get someone from. You can get get a professional referee. One, two. If you want to keep the referees, fine, but don't pay them, because they are getting paid to make bad decisions. If if I'm gonna give you an example that Salah's penalty for against West Ham that should not be the penalty. Liverpool's got the three points. The referee got paid. What did we get from that game? We got nothing. We wasted our 19 minutes. Must time players wasted our 19 minutes just to see referees making stupid mistakes. And actually, no, no, no. Every single team in the Premier League has seen referees make stupid mistakes and we have to suffer. The teams that are... Um, Losing points half the suffer because of the referee. If we had Howard Webb, we would actually would have got some. We would actually um, the VAR would have been perfect if we had old referees instead of these new pathetic old crap weasels, um, potato couch potato referees who can't even do their job. If you have it, if you're getting paid for that Leicester referee from you know the Leicester City versus Matt and Chelsea game. I would rather see you dock the. I'd rather. I'd rather see you dock their wages. I'd rather see you. you know, try to t- tell the referee saying that if you make a mistake in a football match, I'm not going to pay you. And even if it's not the referee, if you if you have to tell the referee, you have to tell someone 
okay, if you're not giving the right, if you're not, if you're not doing your job right, then we can't, we can sack it. You have to go. In, 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 in employment, if someone's doing um, something that they're not supposed to do in their job, the boss will have fired you. If, if, um, if you break, if you break the law, no matter what country you're in, you, the referee, the, um, say the police would have fight, would have arrested you. If you die, if you had a bad life and you had a gun and you, and you killed a lot of people, you would have gone straight to hell. My God, you would have gone straight to hell. So you have to treat the law right. People are giving handballs, getting dives, and they don't understand um, the law. The referees don't understand the law. That's what annoys me. Is that like saying a police officer doesn't understand the meaning of the of the of football? Which is that should know. Is that like teaching? So it's like having the most, the least experienced footballer in the pitch. Um, thanks guys for watching this video. I have enjoyed this video. I've this, this whole um snow cross incident made me um talk about the West Bromwich Hub being game longer. Um I I hope Snowgrass is doing will be good in West Brom. I, f I have high faith in him. I think um, Moyes can like Antonio is a beast. I'm sorry, but Antonio is my man of the match. But he is a beast when it comes to football. He's got this magic feat that like, you can't stop scoring. It it like it lasts me like with Antonio. He's he's got he he's he's um. It's like saying a, a grade A student, a grade A student would always get a grade A for trying her best or his best. Antonio, every time he touches the ball, it goes through the net. We get three points and that's what we should have had. That's what, imagine if we had Antonio instead of Halle. Instead of, imagine having um, Antonio, yeah, Imagine if Antonio wasn't injured, I think the results would have changed and you know, we would have I think we would have beaten Man United and Chelsea if Antonio um stayed for West Ham and what didn't get injured. <sighs> Don Carson Don Carson next. Um it is not on TV but some BBC I player um on BBC Sport. Um I I think it's gonna be another win. For us, I think it's going to be a 3 0 win against Doncaster Rovers, another home game. And then Palace at home. On, on, no, sorry, Palace and so no, The next three fixtures are Doncaster home, Rovers home, Palace away on Tuesday. And then we have to get revenge on Monday. We have to. Then on Monday, we've got Liverpool home. Two out of three fixtures are hard. Um, I think definitely we can get three points against Pat, um, Doncaster. So we can move to the next round against Doncaster. Um, I think we can beat. And uh, maybe I think we can. I, I actually, I, I, I think we could get a draw against Palace. But a win is good, and maybe, like, against Liverpool, I think we will lose, so I think we'll get, we'll win our next two matches, then we're going to Anfield on Monday, um, not, not, um, the following Monday, and then home, and Liverpool's, Liverpool's crap at home, so I don't know how, I don't know. But anything can happen in football fans as watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um I'll see you guys on Friday for the Doncaster um preview. On Saturday I'm busy. 
Um, I might not watch the rest of her match that's going on. Um, hopefully I can. Um, I th- yeah, I mean, we won with 32 points. Um, I'm happy. Europa League, here we come. Come on, you eyes.